There was this German immigrant family who lived at 1608 Harvard Avenue and they worked in the rail yard and they were playing this new game of football at lunchtime and they had a business manager that watched them and he thought we could do something with this. So the business manager who was Joe Carr that lived um, also in the east side formed the team, the Panhandles, and he redesigned the league to be really the league we have today. You might say they're kind of a pro football's royal family. I mean, they were very famous at a time when um, pro football was just beginning, and they were famous for two reasons. One, there were most of the time there were six brothers playing on the same team, which was unusual, but they were also really good, and they were known to be really rough, kind of bone crushing tackles. So they were a, they were a drawing card for a lot of people. Everywhere they went, usually the newspapers would have stories about them because there were so many of them. Their, their time was like 1907 to 1922. They were at their height. They were one of the founding teams of the NFL in 1920. They were in the NFL for three years. It, when, it, when it first started, it wasn't called the NFL, but it was the NFL. Right, right about the peak, about 1915, they were really good. They were playing with the best teams and they played very few home games because they were all, most of them were railroad men and they had free railroad travel. They're, they're pro football pioneers and they're not, because of the time they played and the fact that they were all, you know, it wasn't one or two guys, but there were so many of them, six of them, you know, they haven't really got the recognition that they deserve. But actually, there was an in interesting story, like Ted, for example, there's a story of one game that he played in where he had two, two bones sticking out of his arms and he kept playing because his he didn't want to let his brothers down. He broke his nose eight times. I talked to his daughter and she told me that there's a doctor out on the east side that always, that always uh, set his nose and the eighth time he said, I'm not going to set this anymore because you'll just break it again. And she said, her dad used to like to say, me and Newt Rockney both are alike. We have our nose all over our face. They were, they were one of the pieces that led to the formation of the NFL because they were they were drawing these big crowds and that was what that was what pro football needed at that time.